Here in the Black Hills, we think of things like hiking, fishing, and camping. But a local artist is creating a niche, producing something far more tropical. By day, she's a hairstylist. However, in her free time, she's making something many adults dreamed of as a kid, as we go along the way right here in Rapid City. In a tiny workshop on a hillside overlooking Rapid City, about as far away from an ocean as you can get and still be in America, local artist Amy Lamphere is transforming her imagination into 3D reality. Pretty much fantasy has been my first, you know, <laughs> first love of things, fairies and elves and dragons and all of that, so pretty early on. So what exactly is she making? Life-size, custom-made mermaid tails, created to look real and really work. The tails are made for swimming. Believe it or not, she's not the only one making lifelike mermaid tails, but she couldn't afford to buy one, so she decided to make one herself. I cast them in this, which is the mold, and I've sculpted this, and then I made a mold of this, and then I mixed a two-part platinum silicone together, and I pour it in a nice flat sheet. And then I cut them to measurements of the person that they're going to. If there were real mermaids, what, how would they be put together anatomically? Like, where would, the, where would the pectoral fins be to actually help them propel them through the water? Working on and off, trial and error, with the help of tutorials and YouTube videos, she says her first one took about a year. But here she is, swimming, just like a real mermaid. You really feel like a dolphin or a fish when you're moving through the water. It's really fun, and you go fast. You don't sink, nor do you float to the top. It just keeps you kind of neutrally buoyant. I have a drainage system that I build into the fluke so that water doesn't build up in them and it flows through them. And now she's selling them. Custom, made to fit, mermaid tails and tops. This one, she says, will be going to a woman in London. Her first sale was to a lady in Branson, Missouri. For kind of a, a basic tail without all the added fins and dorsal fins and flippers and all these kind of things, it runs about um, 2500 Lamphere says she uses medical grade silicone rubber that's both durable and skin safe, and that is not cheap. She says supplies themselves cost close to $1,000. So what's the appeal of being a lifelike mermaid? You know, the mermaid archetype is, is this kind of wild, beautiful creature that uh, gets to roam around in the oceans and doesn't, you know, have a day job and, you know, doesn't have to pay taxes. And so yeah, there's, you know, there's, there's an appeal to the, to the magic of something like that. And who wouldn't want that? So here, in her studio, just 180 square feet, this 48-year-old artist spends her free time creating a niche in the tail maker market right here in landlocked South Dakota. There's something just beautiful about the ocean. I like to think of the prairie as kind of the ocean out there. So, you know, when you're in the foothills, you look out and, and it's the same kind of feeling of this expanse. So I'm, I'm sort of the, the mermaid of the prairies. <laughs> if you've met someone cool along the way, please call or email us to let us know. She says she never wants to get into mass production. She only does custom orders and has a waiting list, by the way. Oh, I'm sure. If you're interested in getting one or finding out more about it, her company is called Beauty and Brine Mermaid Tales by Amy Lamb Fear. That is just downright clever and yeah. cool. I Wouldn't like that be it. fun? Yeah. She I says, couldn't wait to see the video of her in the water. It was <laughs> worth it. I love it. Yes, it's cool stuff.